NASA's Juno mission continues to return amazing data from Jupiter and its moons. Scientists have now combined infrared data from the Jovian Infrared Auroral Mapper, or GYRAM, instrument with observations from Juno's microwave radiometer, or MWR, that is designed to look beneath Jupiter's clouds. Not only was this done for Jupiter, but also for its innermost moon, Io. On Io, the scientists discovered something unexpected, evidence that about 10% of Io's surface has still warm magma slowly cooling just below its crust. This data could give new insights into how Io renews its surface so quickly, as well as how heat is transported from the interior to the surface of the moon. Recent gyram observations also showed that the most energetic volcano in Io's history, which was first spotted back in December, was still actively ejecting ash and lava as recently as March 2nd. New observations are expected May the 6th, and it'll be interesting to see if the volcano is still active then. Other observations have investigated the cyclones that are found at Jupiter's north polar region. There's one main cyclone right over the pole, and eight smaller ones that encircle it, as you can see in this image. The scientists have developed a new atmospheric model that can explain the observations, and may also be able to explain the behavior of cyclones here on Earth. Juno arrived in orbit around Jupiter in 2016, and was originally scheduled to end its primary science mission in 2018 after 37 orbits. NASA extended that mission until September of this year with a further 42 orbits. The ultimate fate of Juno is to burn up in Jupiter's atmosphere. That's today's short. I will see you back here tomorrow.